before I started making this video, I tried to come up with a plan of what I would talk about today. And I guess the first thing I thought of was two questions that you out there in YouTube land may be asking me. The first question was, who are you? And the second question is, where in the world have you been? So today, I will try to answer those two questions. First of all, who are you? My name, my YouTube name, is Mima McLiving Healthy. Now, I derive that name from several sources. First of all, Mima. Mima is what I call my grandmother name. I have two grandchildren, and they both call me Mima. So that's where Mima came from. The Mac is part of my real name, and the living healthy is what I've been trying to do for the last five years. You see, in January of 2014, my husband and I joined Weight Watchers. I weighed in that first day on January the 9th, 2014 at 213 pounds. Now, I'm only a little over five foot three, and I was 58 years old at the time. And Weight Watchers said I should weigh somewhere between 112 and 141 pounds. So at 213, I was morbidly obese. My husband started Weight Watchers four days later. When he makes his video, I'll let him say how much he weighed. <laughs> anyway, um, I started January of 2014 we were online only. I knew that my husband would never go to meetings, and so my best bet to be successful was to be online only. We were also, at the time Weight Watchers was, the program that they were using was called Points Plus. So I had um, 26 points a day the whole time that I was in weight loss mode. By October the 2nd of 2014, I reached my first goal weight of 137 pounds. That meant that I had lost between January and October, I had lost 76 pounds. Now, my husband was not ready to go on maintenance, so I decided to stay in weight loss mode until that next February of 2015 when I decided to go on maintenance mode. I had, by that time, I weighed about 122, 123 pounds. And I wanted that cushion so that if I went a little wild at holidays or my birthday or, or something like that, that I uh, had a little bit of a cushion to fall back on. Now, for the most part, I celebrated being on go weight last Wednesday, October the 2nd that I had been on maintenance for five years. And for the most part, during those five years, I have stayed at least under the 141 pounds. There was a few months there where I was having some issues with my thyroid that I got over it a little bit. But thankfully, I was able to, each time that I saw myself gaining weight, I was able to rein it back in and get very faithful on Weight Watchers again and uh, lose the weight. All that being said, it is not easy. It is a lifestyle or a journey that I have decided I could maintain for long term. Obviously, I have. In January, it will be six years since I've started eating this way. And um, I'm weighed in last week at 123 pounds. So that is 90 pounds difference from what I weighed in January of 2014. So I feel like that if I can do this for almost six years, anybody can. I have spent a lifetime fighting with my weight and weight issues. Since the age of 12, that's the first time I remember that I really went on a planned diet and uh, my mother and I both went on it and she was very supportive and that's what I found out early on is that I 
succeeded so much better when I had support or somebody to be accountable to. Uh, that's why back in January of 2014, I was so excited that my husband uh, joined me in this journey because we both needed to lose weight. We were both morbidly obese, so all it could do would be to help us. We had a lot of health issues. Uh, he had just had double knee replacement in 2013. I had been in a boot for three months on my left foot in 2013 and had plantar fasciitis on my right foot. And I realized something had to change. So I've been on three programs since I started Weight Watchers. Points Plus was the first one. Then a year or so later, it stained, changed to Smart Point. And then a couple of years ago, Freestyle was added. And I've had success on all three programs. I probably struggled the most on the when Smart Points was first implemented, but I was also struggling with my thyroid issues, and so I can't totally blame Smart Points. Uh, I've had very good success on Freestyle, uh, not... I don't know that I would ever be able to lose a lot of weight on freestyle, but after my thyroid issues were resolved, uh, I did have to lose 20 pounds to get back down in the 120s, and, and I did it. And I attribute that to freestyle and the way that I have been eating. Okay, that answers the first question, possibly. I know I'll have to go into more detail another day, but... That answered the first question to those of you that have never seen me. Now, question number two, where in the world have you been? Well, I started this YouTube channel earlier this year. I, I believe it was January or February, and I was trying to upload a video each week that was basically tips and things that I did that I had success with and I wanted to be a, a support to those out there that were struggling because I saw a lot of people struggling. And in, on April the 4th of this year, I had a loved one that was admitted to the hospital and my life changed and so did hers. And she had always been there for me, so the least I could do would be to be there for her. She was a kind, precious person, and um, I do not regret what I did these last five months. Well, on August the 27th, she made her way to heaven. And from that day forward, I decided I needed to start my YouTube channel over again. I did struggle some. I put about 10 pounds on since April the 4th. But I'm not making excuses. I'm just telling what happened. I, I drifted away from, I was still tracking, but I obviously was not tracking honestly. Uh, about four weeks ago, I got back full-fledged on Weight Watchers, tracking every single thing that went into my mouth. And I have dropped half the weight, but I'm still struggling. The last two weeks have not been very easy for me, and I've put a little of that five pounds back on. But, you know, that's part of Weight Watchers. And I'm not going to uh, excuse what I've been doing, but I'm not going to quit what I've been doing either because I have had so much uh, success on this program. Well, that's pretty much the um, two questions that I wanted to answer today. So... I'm hopefully going to start trying to uh, post more videos again, uh, do a, some cook with me's, some grocery hauls that I do. I mean, it, it, it's pretty much the same stuff that I was doing six months ago. But if you're interested, leave a comment below and you tell me what you would like for me to do because I'm here, I'm here for you. I don't make any money at this. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I am strictly here to reach out to those who are struggling with their weight, whether it be Weight Watchers or Keto or Nutrisystem, 
whatever the program is that you're with, I hope that I can be beneficial to you. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, leave a comment below, and like the video if you like it. Goodbye. Thank you.